I'm a firm believer in how you start your day and how you end your day can totally change the manner in which you kind of live your life. So morning routines are huge to me and I think movement is an easy way to improve your morning. So we had one before, we're just gonna go through another easy morning, little gratitude moment, a little routine uh, to get going. But just a little bit of a preface with this thought process. This is not some like esoteric, some, some weird spitting at you, just be happy, it's the secret, no. It's a thought process that, okay, in the morning, if we shift our mindset, if, even if it's just something a little bit more to being pragmatic or slightly optimist, research does show that that does have benefits for us. So let's think about it like this. If there is something that I could do to shift my mindset that would probably say I'll have a better life, why not do that? And not do it from a, a standpoint of, oh, just don't worry about everything, everything uh, nothing matters, everything is fine, just thinking into existence, into a shift of, Okay, let me pragmatically and from an optimist standpoint, take into consideration what it is that I need to do, what it is that I actually have, what it is that I want and need to build on, what are the roadblocks and what are the benefits, and then proceed from there and just think about and contemplate these things as we just move forward into a morning routine. That's all I want you to do, is just take five to 10 minutes every morning to perhaps think about a few key things that need to be accomplished. Think about perhaps a few key things that are important in your life and then just move your body and then go into your day however you see fit. So we're just gonna start grand, uh, stay grounded here. We're gonna have both feet down, nice, easy out of bed. You can do this on the side of your bed if you want, just slight bend in those feet and we stay grounded. I want you to feel your feet in the ground right now and then we'll just stand and we'll push through that ground up nice and tall. That is our base, we're opening up our base. And then take a deep breath. It's another day, it's a good morning, or it could be a bad morning, but that's fine, but we have to find a way to deal with it. So let's take a nice, easy, deep breath in, and deep breath out. Releasing yesterday and the issues that might be, take a deep breath in, whatever, inhaling problem solving, or whatever, big exhale out. Deep breath in, big exhale out. Then we'll just kind of shake it out. And then you don't even have to overly contemplate throughout all this, but just getting a better mindset that allows us to tackle the day. And then you just give me a nice, easy hip opener. So we'll just balance here and we'll open up these hips. So I've been really focused on opening up my hips in the morning and it's been helping me a lot. So we'll just go for these for 10 reps. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, good. And it will still be here, just a slight bend, okay? Nice hang, deep breath in, big sweep up, big breath out, hang, breath in, uh, exhale out, hang, breath in, exhale out, hang, breath in, exhale out. Hang, breath in, exhale out, good. And then just nice easy reaches for six, for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Back to these hips, get this good hip opener going on, especially if you've been laying down. We'll just hold here for a second, and all we're gonna do, we're gonna find that balance. We'll just hold, and then we'll just thread the needle through. And then we'll sit up, easy. Thread the needle again, opening up that hip, up. Step down if you need, that's always hard for me to find a little balance. And then we'll thread that needle, and then up. And then we'll go to the other side, nice and easy. We'll just step here, we'll hold for a second, thread the needle, up. Thread the needle, up. Thread the needle, up. Out of bed, my joints always kind of feel some type of way. So I like to open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. Then on the ankle, nice easy circles through the ankle. Three, two, one, reverse. Three, two, one, other side. Three, two, one, reverse, three, two, one. Good, and just nice easy circles through that mid-back and neck for three, for two, 
for one, reverse, for three, for two, for one. Check it out. Coming on down into this plank position. This one's always my favorite in the morning. A nice easy prone press. Three, two, one. Good, and then we pick a side. Alternate, push it on up. Three, two, one. And we're just here. And then opposite ankle touches. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, and we're back. And then we're on our back. And then just nice and easy, I like to grow. I feel like sometimes when we sleep and we shrink, we're not really shrinking, but you know what I mean? It just feel condensed, so big reach and then down. You can even do this in your bed as you're laying down. Three, two, one. I sit up and then just big forward circles for three, for two, for one, then reverse for three, for two, for one. And then we're up, okay? Shake it out. It's not even supposed to just be a big workout in the morning. We're just gonna hop in place, kind of stimulate the lymph, connective tissue, just nice easy hops. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Ugh. So that's it. It's just nice, easy morning movement. I'm telling you, it makes you feel a lot better. It simulates both the body and the mind. Then go get a cup of water. Water in the morning, because our body has to heat the uh, water up and once we intake. It has been shown to have some beneficial effects for our metabolism. So simple as that. Movement, mindset, hydration. It's a holy trinity in the morning, but most important, just set the stage for how you want your day to go. Control what you can control. Don't overthink it, but also don't underthink it either. So there you go. So say one thing you're grateful for, say one thing you want to accomplish, make it as concrete as possible, and then one thing you want to overcome. 